Hi everyone, I'm Mahiro. We will learn Japanese culture about time at this class. I like this culture, but also I don't like this culture depending on the situation. Japanese culture about time has good point, but also crazy point. After you watch this class, you will understand what I mean. So let's start! Maybe most of foreigners don't know anything about this culture. Or some foreigners know that Japanese time is accurate or something like that. So today I'm gonna explain Japanese culture about time. Actually, it can be classified into three points. First point is accurate. Second point is strict. It's kinda similar to first point. Third point is loose. Maybe you will think strict and loose? Yeah, you know, it's opposite meaning. <laughs> That's why I mentioned this culture has crazy point. Anyway, I'm gonna explain about it later. Please get ready to be shocked. I'm gonna talk about accurate time. Something in Japan usually arrive on time. What do you think about something? The answer of this quiz is train or bus or shinkansen. This kind of transportation usually arrive on time. It's famous, right? Actually, that's why lots of people say Japanese public transportation is the best in the world. So some Japanese people often get upset or mad when the train is only a few minutes delay. Because most of Japanese people are used to train coming on time. Even the train is 2 minutes delay, some Japanese people will be mad. I know you will think, eh, why? Japanese people should put up with it. It's only two minutes. Yeah, I know it's only two minutes. But there are some reasons why some Japanese people will be like that. They will say they missed next train. Only two minutes delay is connected to missing the next train. It happened because of calculated timetable. The timetable of Japanese transportation is kinda complicated so that we can transfer to next train efficiently. So only 2 minutes delay can be big delay. Actually, I also experienced that. The train that I was riding was 3 or 4 minutes delay. So I was running to next train. And then I thought I made it. Good job to me like that. But the train was leaving right before my eyes when I arrived at the platform. And then I was late for class. So second reason why they will be mad is they will be late for next schedule like me. Second point about Japanese time is strict, right? So they don't want to be late. That's why they will be mad if the public transportation is delayed. As you know, second point is strict time. Japanese people are strict about time, especially three types of time. First type is starting time. For example, company's starting time, conference, class, and so on. Second type is deadline. Some people will be mad if you submit even five minutes after the submission deadline. Third type is the time related with business. This type is the most strict. Because of that, Japanese people always try to act 5 minutes earlier. It's common sense in Japan. That's why if I arrive at the workplace or a meeting room just on time, my boss will get mad at me even though I'm not late. Actually, I don't like this culture. So how about the case that I will be late? Of course, my boss will be mad at me if I'm late. But there is degree of anger. If there is reason why I'm late, my boss will be just mad. And this degree of anger depends on reason. If I'm late due to comparing reason, my boss will not really get mad. But if there is no comparing reason or I didn't tell the reason, my boss will really get mad at me. For example, if I hung out with my friends last night, and then I'm late because of oversleeping, my boss will be furious. It's not over brown. So if you have a chance to work in Japan, 
Please remember and act 5 minutes earlier so that you will not be late. Third point is lose time. Maybe you react, eh? Strike time and lose time? Yeah, I know it's really crazy and confusing. By the way, I mentioned starting time and business time are really strict, right? But end time of work is really, really, really loose in Japan. That's seriously crazy culture. It's like you have to start to work 5 minutes earlier, but you cannot go home on time. So the workers in Japan become exhausted because of too much work. And then lots of people died by overworking every year. And also some married couples divorced. It's like there's no direct connection between divorce and overwork. But actually there is connection. If your partner goes home at midnight and no communication with your partner, what do you feel? What you feel is the reason why some married couples divorce every year in Japan. This culture is really crazy, right? I seriously hate it. But there are some people who want to overwork. The purpose of this kind of people is getting overtime payment. At first, they feel exhausted, but they will be used to overworking. And then they become workaholic. That's why there are lots of workaholic in Japan. I don't wanna be like that because it's like getting married with work. Maybe at the first time, they start to overwork so that they earn more money. But I guess their reason for living gradually becomes their work. And I hate people who want to overwork because they cannot finish their task in time. Their works are inefficient. Additionally, this kind of people tend to force the same way of their working. So please be careful when you work in Japan. I recommend you to keep a distance from this kind of people. I explained Japanese culture about time. There are good points but also crazy points, right? In my opinion, accurate time is good because it's really convenient when it comes to using public transportation. Historic time has the aspect of good and crazy depending on the situation. I despise lose time. I hope this crazy culture will be improved. Did you understand Japanese culture about time? I hope I could give you new knowledge of Japanese culture. Anyway, it's time for the segment of question. I started this segment of question from previous class because I want to know you and be closer. And also some listeners request this kind of segment. So today's question is what you are doing for the future? In my case, I want to travel around the world because I want to see something I don't know and have friends from all over the world. How about you? Please answer in the comment section. I'm looking forward to checking your answer. Anyway, thank you for watching this class. I hope this class is helpful for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Additionally, if it's okay with you, please share this video to your friends who want to learn Japanese. Thank you for your kindness. See you next class.